Okay, in this video we're going to be showing you how to draw the part for the rapid prototyping challenge for our magnetic pencil holder project. So we're going to jump right over here to the Autodesk Inventor Pro tab. I'm going to open up the ISO CAD drawings and rapid prototyping challenge folder. And if you could scroll all the way down to the bottom, you're going to see the rapid prototyping challenge folder that I've created. We're going to start by looking at the drawing, but keep in mind I'm going to have you read the challenge, the getting started, and make sure you've read these three steps, followed by my hint, and also keep in mind we have this information here that's going to help us start the drawing in Inventor. Let's start with the ortho drawing. So with the ortho drawing open, something you're going to find is that we have a front view, a top view, a right side view. We actually call this the isometric. It's a three-dimensional model. In my video, I'm going to be showing you that we're going to start by drawing this front view first. You can see there's a lot of information here. It'll make more sense when I show you the video. And then we're going to extrude this front view and then end up drawing that circle, which you can see has a 2.00 millimeter diameter. Um, then we're also going to extract that. We're going to extrude that as well. So keep in mind in this front view, here's some important information to look at. Um, you're actually going to see me draw a rectangle that has a length of 15, a height of 2. You're then going to see me draw this outer circle, which has a radius of 4.5, but a overall diameter of 9. We're going to use another option called offset to make an inner circle 1 millimeter away. Then we're going to be using some trim functions to get rid of some unneeded lines and uh, curves and arcs and circles. So we're going to clean this up and then we're going to end up extruding it and then adding that two millimeter diameter hole. Keep in mind here's the distance from this edge to the center and here's the distance from this edge to the center. So this is a lot of information here in this top view that allows to make this look just like the drawing here to the right. So once again, let's go ahead and get started. Keep in mind, I'm going to be looking at this information here as I start my drawing in Inventor. So I'm going to go to Inventor, and we are in Inventor. I'm going to go ahead and click on this new option here. And we're going to open up a metric, and we're going to open up a standard millimeter part. You can either double click on this icon or just hit create, either one. I'm going to double click. Now keep in mind, it, everything is going to look like it always does, but we should pay attention to the fact that our measurements should all be metric measurements. So to get started, you can either hit S to start a sketch, click this button here, or I'm just going to right click and select New Sketch. So since we're starting with the front view, I'm going to start with the XY plane. So I'm going to click that with my left mouse button. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to first start by drawing a 15 inch long by 2 inch tall rectangle. So I'm going to just click right here on the rectangle tool. I'm going to go to the origin. A little green dot's going to appear. I'm going to click once with my left mouse button. Let go of the mouse button and just move up and over to the right. Now this is important that I do not click again you can see that field that is in blue is an active field, so I just start typing on my keyboard. Don't even hit your backspace key, just start typing. I'm going to hit 15 for the length. And now to get to the second field, which currently says 4.927, you want to hit your tab key on the left hand side of your keyboard. Hit your tab key once. You can now see that field's highlighted. I want you to type in the number 2. This should be a 15 length to height rectangle. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and just roll my wheel in a little bit. Okay, I'm now going to go ahead and draw some more information. Now, this next step is something new. We haven't learned this function yet. Um, I'm going to click on the line tool. But I'm actually going to jump over here to the right, and I want you to select this feature called Construction. A construction is a line that can be used as a reference line. So I'm going to click on that construction icon, and I want you to jump right down here to that origin again. Click once, 
and once again let go of the left mouse button just move your mouse upward stay on that axis you should be drawing a 90 degree vertical line I want you to type in 4.5 and then hit enter now you can't see the line but we do know where it ends. It ends somewhere right here. So I'm now going to click on this circle tool. Very important step. You need to turn off construction. So we're going to come over here, deselect this icon, and you'll know that if you did or didn't, because if you did not, your circle will actually come up dashed. So let's turn that icon off. If you just hover your mouse right along this axis, you're going to see right here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, you know, notice that I can find that point, which is 4.5 millimeters from the origin. So I want you to single click with your left mouse button, and you can just move your mouse in any direction. I'm just going to move straight down, and honestly, we could stop right at the origin, and you'll notice that the number that's in blue says 9, because that's a 9 millimeter diameter circle, and the radius is 4.5. So once again, I can just move straight down and stop right at the origin and at the origin and click your left mouse button. Okay, so we have a lot going on here. If we once again take a look at this drawing, we're going to kind of draw another inner circle that is one millimeter inside this outer circle. So we're going to use a new tool called Offset. Offset is right here at the top of your screen. Okay, click on that once with your left mouse button and you can just click any part of the circle. I'll click right here, click once with your left mouse button, and then you want to move inward and just stop right about there and just type in the number one for one millimeter and hit enter. Okay, so now we're going to add just two more lines and then we're going to clean this up. These next two lines can be a little confusing at first, so once again you may have to watch this step multiple times. You're going to watch me, I'm going to go ahead and zoom into this drawing here. You're going to watch me click somewhere in the center with the line tool. I'm then going to extend this line outwards to this outer edge. But then you're going to notice I'm going to type in an angle, in this case of 35. Now when we do the other side, the angle is not going to be 35, it's actually going to be a different number. So let's start with, the, with what we know. So I'm going to click on the line tool. I want you to put your mouse right here on center, single click with your left mouse button. And you're going to move directly over to the right and you're going to stop at the second circle, the first one we drew. Now you notice that blue field says 4.5 but the degree currently says 0, 0.00. So hit your tab key once and I want you to type in 35 and then hit enter. Keep in mind the length of this line is 4.5, but we changed the angle to 35. I'm going to hit enter. There we go. Good. Now you can see that I'm still in the line tool, so I want you to hit the escape key on your keyboard, upper left hand corner. That always terminates whatever function you're in. Go back and hit the line tool again. And once again, go back to center. Now keep in mind, if we were to draw a line here, we notice that was 0, that would be 90, but now I'm going to jump all the way to the opposite side, and I'm not going to click, I'm just going to leave my mouse right there, but I want you to observe the angle. The angle is 180, the line is still 4.5. I'm actually going to subtract 35 from 180, so I'm going to hit my tab key once, and I want you to change 180 to one. 45 and hit enter. Perfect. Okay. Once again, hit your escape key to terminate that tool. And now we're going to do a little bit of cleanup here. So we're going to use this tool called trim. Okay, watch how trim works. When you hover your mouse over a piece of geometry, you can see what's dash is going to get is going to delete. Okay? So I'm just going to click on that area once with my left mouse button. Now I'm going to come down to this part of the circle, click right here. And now we're going to come down here, we're going to get rid of this part of the line, click here. You can see that this line remains, that's good, leave that there. We're going to come over here, click with your left mouse button. Once again, this part of the line remains, that's good. Let's jump down here, 
Let's click once here. We can click here. Actually, I'm going to hit Control Z for just a moment. Just bear with me here. I'm going to hit Control Z. Um, and I'm also going to go ahead and click right. Let's click on Trim again. I'm going to click right here. And I'm also going to click right here. Now this kind of gave me something kind of funny happened. I want you to observe this this angle right here, or this length right here. When I clicked on this line with the trim tool, something kind of funny happened. You can actually see things have changed. I'm going to hit Control Z. Now you might find this may not happen to you. So let me show you another way to get rid of some lines. We actually do not need this entire line. You can trim it and it might work for you. But if it doesn't work, I want you to do this. I want you to hit your escape key a few times. And to get rid of a line, you can just click on it once with your left mouse button and then hit the delete key on your keyboard, which I which I just did. I'm going to hit control Z. Another way to get rid of a piece of geometry is just to right click on it with your mouse. You'll see it's white now. Right click and hit delete. Okay, I want you to keep in mind that not only did I delete this part of the line here, but I also got rid of a line that used to be here. So just make sure you get rid of all that geometry. So it should look just like my drawing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit Finish Sketch. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Whenever you extrude, make sure you're not extruding with the object flat. So you're going to notice I'm going to make sure this little house has been clicked. Make sure it's at a slight angle. So I'm going to hit Extrude, and before I do that, let's take a look at this drawing. So we know that this object has a overall width, right here, of 15. So 15 is the number we're going to use right now for the overall width of this object. Okay, so we're going to go with 15. So let's jump back to the drawing. So I'm going to hit the Extrude option. And you've heard me say in class, rather than having it extrude towards you, you can either grab this arrow and move away. But another thing you can do is just tell it to extrude in the opposite direction. Let's change this number here to 15. And let's hit OK. All right, we are almost done. The last thing we're going to add now is that circle, which is actually going to be a hole. So if we go back to the drawing here, you're going to notice that this symbol 0 slash 2 means diameter 2. This is located 7.5 millimeters from this edge and 5 millimeters from this edge. Let me actually show you something I do a lot in Inventor. Rather than worry about getting it precise, I'm just going to draw a circle and then put it where I want it using the dimension tool. So we need a new sketch. So I can either just right click and say new sketch. I can also just hit the S key on my keyboard or I can hit Start 2D Sketch. Okay, I'm going to hit right click, New Sketch. You'll notice I'm not clicking on the drawing when I right click. I usually click somewhere off the drawing, New Sketch. And you'll notice my arrow has a little icon. It's saying, where do you want to start the sketch? So I'm going to start on this face right here. So I'm going to single click with my left mouse button. Okay, I'm going to hit Zoom All right here. Okay, and I'm just going to draw a circle and I'm not concerned about location. I'm just going to make sure it's two millimeters in diameter. I could draw it. I could draw it way over here if I want. So just watch. I'm going to click once, and as I'm moving outward, I'm going to type in a number. Now keep in mind, whenever you start typing in numbers, don't just click and start typing. You need to click and move in some direction so that you can start to see that blue field appear. So I'm going to type in the number two and hit enter. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here. Okay, so let's keep in mind that when we're using the dimension tool, we know that this needs to be 7.5 inches from either side, which puts it in the center, and then 5 millimeters from this edge. So I'm going to use this tool here called dimension. Okay, watch this. First, I'm going to start with putting it on center from this edge to this edge. So I'm going to click once in the middle. You can see a little white dot appear. And then I'm going to click either on this edge or this edge. It really doesn't matter. I'll just click on this edge right here. I'm going to move away from the drawing. Okay, never put a dimension on the drawing. Don't put it here. Just move away. Just click once with your left mouse button and just type in 7.5. Perfect. Now I want this center of the circle to be 5 millimeters from this edge. So once again, I'm still in dimension. 
click once on that little dot in the middle, click, and then click anywhere along this edge, click. In this dimension, you can either go here, you're going to go here. Once again, do not put it on top of the drawing. So I'm just going to move it down right here. I'm going to type in 5, and I'm going to hit Enter. Awesome. Go ahead and hit Finish Sketch. And the last thing I'm going to do is select the Extrude button. And keep in mind, it's asking you, what do you want to extrude? We have a lot of geometry here, so you have to tell it what you want. So I'm going to click right here on that face of that circle. Click once. That's my left mouse button. And obviously it's, ex it's adding, so to go in the opposite direction, it should extract. And it's okay that it goes all the way through the bottom. As long as it goes through and then some, it's perfect. So I'm going to hit OK. All right, we're done. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of orbit to kind of show you what we just did. So you can see I clearly have a hole going through the center. And you can clearly see that this all started with that front view. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here in the isometric view. And go ahead and save your work, as my instructions tell you in the video, or excuse me, on Blackboard. And you're done. Great job.